All right. Um, recently, Mr. Chavez really recently had twins. Um, the X number of diaper ch change <laughs> change per day for Alyssa, and Y the number of for Jocelyn. All right. So we're doing a combination of functions. Sorry about that. I didn't introduce it. Um, combination of not functions, but combination of probability distributions, and where we have two different probability distributions, and we want to try to figure out what is the um, mean expected value and the standard deviation of those two. How do they change? So based on a few weeks of careful records, the probability distribution are this. So remember, diapers change. 3 is about 5%, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have a mean of 4, 4.9, and a standard deviation for each one of those. Now assume T, so is T, the total, probably the total number of diaper changes for both of the um, twins, and that's what's going to be there. So um, let's find the mean of T. So the mean of T is simply going to be mean of x plus the mean of y, okay? And so that's going to equal 4.75 plus 4.9. So the total number of diaper changes, unfortunately for this uh, um, lady, is going to be um, around 9.65, all right? So, um, so after... So after many, many, many days, days, um, the expected, expected number, expected number of diaper changes per day, per day, um, is about uh, 9.65, that's what we have. So after many days, the expected number of diaper changes per day is about 9.65, that's what we have there. So after many, many times, many, many days of changing diapers, we expect um, the number of diaper changes per day is about, about 9.65. Now, next thing we're gonna calculate is this, is our standard deviation. Now, the standard deviation of t is going to equal the standard deviation of um, x plus the standard deviation of y. Psych, no. If you did that, that would be wrong because we want to find the variances of each one of these. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take, in order to find this combination, we're going to take 0.698 and we want to square that. We're going to add that to 0.768 right here and we're going to square this. Okay, and when you put this into your calculator, eight, six, eight squared, I find that that's going to roughly be about 1.038 over there. And so do we have there? Well, um, <clears throat> what we know is that... Um, a randomly selected selected day um, the number of diaper or changes um, and of changes typically it varies by 1.038 um, per day from the mean, the mean number of diaper changes, which is 9.65. So any randomly selected day, the number of diaper changes typically varies by 1.039 per day from the mean. Okay, and that's what we find with our standard deviation. That's what typically varies, typically varies from the mean. All right. And now finally, Alyssa wears diaper size one, which cost, oh well, um, 0.238 per diaper. And Jocelyn wears size two, which costs a little bit more. Okay. Find the mean standard deviation of the total cost for the diapers. Okay. So the total cost um, we're going to do is we're going to find the mean of this cost. We'll call that C. And what we're going to do here is we would take the number of 
diapers for x, um, which is going to be um, a lease. We're going to multiply it by 0.238. I'm going to add that to whatever diaper is for Alyssa. Okay, or so Judge Oslin, no, I say Alyssa. All right, we're going to multiply that by 0.2975, and we'll add those two together. And so over here, okay, we can have this right here. We'll take 4.75 times point, all right, 0.238, and we'll add that to um, our other one, which is 4.9 times 0.2875. And so, all right, what we found out is $2.50, I'll write it, $2.59 is the expected cost, all right, for both of these per day, both these twin per day. Now, to find the standard deviation of C, we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to take our standard deviation of X and multiply that by point. Two, three, eight, and then we have to square it. We're going to add that to our other variance, which is a standard deviation of y times 0.2975. Then we have to take that and square it. Okay, and so going up here, we can see that we have to take when we take the square roots, you can put this in your calculator. All right, um, 0.698. If I do this right, and sometimes this takes a little bit. And what we have right here is and we're going to take that times 0.238 squared, add that to our other standard deviation 0.768. All right, times 0.2975, and then we got to square that puppy. And what do we typically get? Um, I got 0.282. Hopefully that is about right. So typically varies um, by about 28 cents. All right, 28 cents right there. And so if we want to put that just in cents, we can write that one. About 28 cents is a typical variation of the cost for diapers per day. Okay. And that's what we have there for the combination of functions. Once again, we're talking about how to find the um, expect the value, standard deviation, and how to, well, we have different values being multiplied to those values. All right. Well, I hope this helps you out, and good luck. We'll come listen to the rest of your problems.